If you find a source that you would like to use, the first thing you'll need to do is cite it in NoodleTools. Once you have cited your source, click the New link under Note Cards. This will open a new note card. The note card is divided into three sections. If you are citing an online source, you can copy and paste a short section of information in the first box on the left. If you are using a print source, you will leave this box empty. In the box on the right, you will explain the information that you pasted in the box on the left in your own words. Use words that you will understand. In this last box, you can put your thoughts. For example, what follow-up questions do you want to try and answer? So here's an example of how you would create a note card for this information that I found online about where Jaguars are located. First, highlight and copy the information in your online source. Remember, if you are taking notes from a print source, you will skip this step. Now paste your information in the box on the left. Sometimes you will find that you aren't able to paste your information directly into this box. You may first have to click on one of these two clipboards. The first clipboard with the T allows you to paste and then insert text only. The second clipboard with the W allows you to keep your text formatting, such as these highlights. You may want to do this if you are splitting one note card into two note cards. I'll talk more about this in a bit. You may want to mark up your text to help organize your information. For example, I used one color for the information about where Jaguars are located. I then highlighted the information about the Jaguars habitat with a second color. You can change the text color or use highlighting, whatever works best for you to organize your information. Also, you may notice little links that say, how do I do this? Click on these for additional help. Next, you will paraphrase or summarize the information in your own words in the box on the right. Notice that this information does not need to be com in complete sentences. You may use bulleted lists and abbreviations. Just be sure to include enough information so that it makes sense when you come back to use your notes later. Now you are ready to give your note card a title. Your title should be the main idea. If you're not sure what the main idea is, Reread the information to try and determine what one thing your information is about. Finally, include your own ideas and questions for follow up in this box. If you click the new link in your bibliography to create your note card, your source will already be linked to your notes. If not, look for your source listed in the drop down menu at the top of the page and select it. You can add tags or keywords to a note card to help you organize them later. When you are finished, save your work and your new note card will be waiting for you. Drag and drop your note cards onto the tabletop and then, just as you would organize notes written on index cards on a real tabletop, you can move your virtual note cards around on this virtual tabletop. Click the Move 10 button to drag up to 10 note cards to the tabletop at one time. Click on any empty space on the desktop and drag it to move the entire desktop around. Sometimes it may seem as if your note cards have disappeared. It usually means that they are hidden outside of the viewable area. Check the bird's eye view window in the lower corner to see where they are and drag your desktop to bring them into view. If you have added tags to your note cards, you can search for a specific tag to find note cards with related ideas. Then click the Add to Pile button to create a pile with these related note cards. You can add them to an existing pile or create a new pile. The piles that you create can give you ideas for subtopics for your outline. You can either develop an outline as you go using the topics and subtopics from your note cards, or create your outline first before you start to take your notes. This way provides you with a map of the information you need to find. Once you have an outline, drag your notes and pals onto the appropriate topics or subtopics, and watch your outline grow. 
you can go back to your bibliography at any time and add another source. Once you have added a note card to a source, you can click the Show link, and you will see all the notes you have taken from that one source all in one place. To continue to work with your note cards and build your outline, click the note cards link at the top of the page at any time. 